Hey guys, what's up? Nobody here, and today we're going to be tackling Mirage Saloon, and was that Knuckles? Sonic looks disappointed. Hey! That's not nice. So yeah, the gameplay for this might seem familiar to you if you played Sonic 2 at all. Does uh, Sky Chase ring a bell? It was Sky Chase, right? I'm pretty sure it was Sky Chase. But yeah. I, uh, I remember this. You get to spin dash on the plane, and the plane radiuses all the way across the screen. Yeah, you get to do a lot of really fun stuff in this level. Tails control is really nice. Some of the enemies are dicks. It requires you to keep your wits about you. It's all really, really fun. Ooh, boy. Hey, look, the background changed. Now it's not pink. Damn it. I wanted that. I wanted that, too. So this zone actually doesn't last that long. I think it's about two minutes. If that. And look! We have an egg train with a mustache! Oh, that's so cool. Trains are like my favorite thing in the world, so I really, really like that. That's a train. It makes me smile. Also, look at that. There's a ring hand-delivered to us. Let's take care of it, shall we? This is going to be a new zone, so I don't know if we're going to get the cat UFO in time. But we'll try. Ooh. I think we might need some more speed. So I'm guessing time's not the hard factor here. It's all the speed you need to get. It's apparently very sparse. Oh, we just hit Mach 2, so now things should start getting fun. Now we just have to catch up. Ooh, that thing is way up there. Ooh. 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 Can't lose any rings. Just need to catch up. Just need to catch up. Ugh, why did I do that? just happened. Why? <laughs> Why? So that wasn't fun. Oh well. This is still only Act 1. Oh, sorry, I was wrong earlier. Mirage Saloon was the one I got up to. I'm sorry I misled you. Oh, great. Oh, great. 
Now meet the Act 1 boss. It's a giant sandworm. It's also relatively easy to fight. All you have to do is hang out in this corner, spin dash right into it, and when you bounce off, you jump into the air. Almost. Damn it! What just happened? I guess you can! Huh. I don't know why I did that on purpose, but okay. Alright, come on, Top Hat. Alright, come on now. Oh. 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 Start attacking normally, damn it. I'm sure there must be a way to damage him when he's attacking like that, but I'd rather not chance it. See, now this I know I can hit. That was incredibly lucky. That was insanely lucky. Come on. Get the lead out. I don't have all day to destroy you, you know. There we go. Thank you for complying. Now you might be asking yourself, what exactly is that floating on? I wouldn't ask. You might not like the answer. So that was a crash. Welcome back to. So yeah, um. Mirage Saloon, which I'm pretty sure is what it's called, is one of the levels that uh, is uh, one of the new additions to this game. And um, if I remember correctly, it was originally inspired by two times when a beta level from a Sonic series was originally attempted to be put, or when a beta level from the Sonic series was or basically reworked into a working prototype or working level. Um, the original idea behind this, or the original conception behind this was a beta screenshot from a Sonic 2 cancelled level, I think. And then, also, in inspiration from one of Christian Whitehead's other games where he tried to revive said Sonic level the first time and it didn't work. And you can learn that by watching Beta 64 if you have the time. Really recommend watching that channel, it's really, really good, really, really fun. And if you really like video game trivia, you really need to check him out. Hello. That wasn't smart. Hey look, there's a ring there though. And if we go up here, over here, grab that fire shield. And get on the water. We can run straight into the special stage. Now let's just hope we get that UFO this time. Oh well. It was worth a try. Oof.
Ooh, hello. What's that? Hold on, what's that? I'll be right back. I think I hear my dog downstairs. Okay, so I'm back. Uh, I would like to apologize for that. My dogs are fighting downstairs, and I would also like to add that this is now going to be a post-commentary for the rest of the video, because unfortunately when I returned, I forgot to unmute my microphone, and I didn't get a lot of what I was talking about. But fortunately, this has given me the opportunity to fix a lot of some of the, or a lot of the issues that I was going to have with putting the playthrough up. Like for one, I was going to ruin the boss without beating it, and I kind of didn't want to do that. I wanted to get the boss done in one go because it's special. And um, another part of that was uh, we attempted to get a special stage because um, one of the rings that I saw on my first playthrough of this desert was right up over this hill, right up there. If you go up through the loop, if you were to jump off that top right and go back, which you'll see in a second, because I keep trying to spin dash back up there. Spin dash back up, jump off, and then get Tails to fly you up there. There's a special ring up there. And we kept trying to get that. Unfortunately, I, it took a long time to get up there. I mean, but... <laughs> you know, as you can see, eventually I got it together and realized that, hey, you know, maybe I should just use Tails to fly out of here since, you know, the spin dash doesn't seem to be working. The only problem was getting Tails to grab me, but once I got him to grab me, it was all good. Now it was just a matter of, you know, getting up there and taking out this bull. So, yeah, geez, that really sucks. I had some funny one-liners that I was saying right now, too. Well, they were funny to me. That's all that matters. But, yeah, man, that sucks. Oh, but maybe we're going to get up there this time. See, it's right up there. See it right there up on the top right. If you look real close, you can see it. Come on. Come on. Just have to get Tails to fly us up there. Come on. Come on. Come on. And after all that hard work and time wasting, we finally get there. And do we get it? Do we finally get the UFO this time? Do we finally do it? Fuck you, computer. You're an ass. Ow. That is a possibly true statement, and fuck you for bringing it up. Anyway, you know what? Fine. I don't care anymore. Computer, you're a dick, and I'm just going to replace your motherboard because you're being a prick. That's all that matters. Anyway, so we didn't get the Chaos Emerald, and that kind of sucks, but we still have more chances to get it, and we're going to do it, because we're going to get that good ending on the first playthrough. First complete playthrough, because unfortunately... Every other time that I've attempted to play this game has resulted in a myriad of issues popping up that prevent me from getting the perfect recording the first time, but I guess you're not meant to get the perfect recording the first time. If it was that easy, everyone would do it. I guess everyone does do it, but... Yeah. And you know, it's kind of funny to think that if I had kept going up and to the right, I think there's another ring up there. Because if I remember correctly, I ran into one up there. I don't know, I found three rings in this stage, but I don't remember where they all are. And I know that some of them involve you having to use the water spray, or at least one of them does, the one that we just did. Redo! So now we've come to the boss fight, and I challenged it two other times, two or three, and I had to cut them all out because this is just something that you have to see for the first time, and I wanted to make sure I got it all complete one in one go because it took me three tries to even get to the third form of the boss. But if you pay attention, some of these characters might be a little bit familiar to you. S that looks like uh, Fang the Sniper, or Knack the Weasel, whichever you want to prefer to call him. What's he doing here? And is that Bean the Dynamite? What is he doing here? Why is Bean here? He's only supposed to be in Sonic the Fighters. And now, Bark the Polar Bear? What's going on? They really pulled out a lot of the stops for bringing in a bunch of random, unused characters in this game, even if it is just for like a cameo role. Oh, it is so cool to see some of these characters. Bean and Bark, I think are, uh, I, Bean, Bark, and Knack are all, I believe, comics characters. But, um, 
Barkin uh, Bean specifically, I remember from being in Sonic and the Fighters. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have officially cleared Act 2 of Mirage Saloon. And we will be going on to the ninth level, which I believe is Oil Ocean, if I remember correctly. I saw it in Fringy's review, so... I th think that's Oil Ocean in the distance. Anyway, I will see you in Episode 9. Peace.